Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Apoorv Malik, and I welcome you all here in this webinar on behalf of TNV Academy as the host of the day. First of all, let me introduce the speaker of the day for today's webinar. I am glad to have Mr. Rajay Bajpayee with us as the guest speaker. The topic with which he is here today with all of us is ISO 13485 Medical Devices Quality Management System Policy. Mr. Rajay Bajpayee has audited several organizations for ISO 13485 standard and has assisted several others in the implementation of the same. Our distinguished speaker, Mr. Rajay Bajpayee, has done his bachelor's in engineering in metallurgy stream. He is also a lead auditor in ISO 9001, 14001, 45001, 37001, 22000, 27001, 13485, 22301, and 50001 standards, respectively. He has an industrial experience of around 38 plus years in field of manufacturing, design, quality control, and quality assurance. He has been imparting training to a number of organizations, entrepreneurs, and individuals on various topics related to ISO terminologies and how ISO standards are implemented. This was just a brief introduction of our guest speaker today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Rajay Bajpayee. I may request Mr. Rajay Bajpayee now to please take over and start the webinar. Thank you, Apoor. I am glad that uh, we are doing it for a subject which is very, very critical for our physical health. Particularly those who have crossed the age of 50 or in some cases 60 years, most of them need medical devices to support our physical strength and at times mental strength also. So this is a pure subject of medical devices, quality management system and we are going to focus on policy. In this particular clause, everything has been said as quality policy only. So sometimes I feel to get into a situation where I try to flow purely towards a quality policy, but that is not the case. This standard is a sort of joint venture, I would say, of quality management system and medical devices. So the base is ISO 9001. And on top of that, the buildings are made of various categories of medical devices. Some are so simple like, you know, uh, uh, the examples like um, intravenous cannula, IV cannula, blood bags, maybe contraceptives, maybe the walls of the heart, maybe the knee implants, maybe the liver and other implants of the body, shoulders and all. So if we can understand it very clearly that we are talking of quality management based upon to implement the medical devices. So in as we have discussed in other policies also, the top management needs to ensure that yes, policy is available and it is applicable to the purpose of organization. In some organization, we have seen they have set policy, but they have forgot to include the medical devices which they are manufacturing or trading or servicing or the lab ingredients, the chemicals, you know, the sanitizers and all, they all fall into the medical devices category. So this is talk of that into their policy. It should also include a commitment to comply with the requirements to maintain the effectiveness of quality management system. That is required. So we need to focus the requirement of medical devices for the enhancement of the MDQMS system via a well documented, well displayed, well 
direction given by the top management for the policy to meet the requirement of QMS, which is MD QMS here today. Also, it is going to provide a framework for establishing and reviewing the quality objectives. Again, when we say quality objectives, we mean medical devices oriented quality objectives, MD QMS objectives. So once that happens, then we can ensure that yes, MD QMS policy will be achieved through smart MD QMS objectives. We may conduct a webinar on 10 days in the first week of April or so. But yes, we have to see that the words, the documented policy is going to further extended, indicated, communicated to whom? First, communicated within the top management, because if they cannot understand it, they have given a direction, but they themselves don't understand the writing of the policy, what they will guide further. And then understood. There are auditors in third party community who will just ask a client team to read the policy. That is a mistake. We need to understand it, not the reading. Reading can be done by any Tom, Dick and Harry at times, provided it is, you know, worded into his language. We have seen situations where the language is different. It is written in Arabic. I as an auditor do not understand Arabic. So client can say anything when I ask him to read. But our concepts are very, very clear. We understand the language of the lips. We are trained like that. We understand the body language. So if he has understood it, we can understand that yes he has understood so it is a question of understanding what has been understood by him and who had made him understand that and whether that has been understood adequately or not within the organization so one is the within the organization and then we go further into communication it is communicated to the statutory regulatory authorities the boards the customers, the supplier, the subcontractors, the supply chain team, then only it is understood. Okay. So writing down in a language of English or Arabic or Turkish or, you know, uh, Malaysian or any other language, South African language, Tanzanian, Rangunian or whatever, but then understanding that points of lines and the meaning is very, very typical. Is reviewed for continuing suitability. We have seen organizations who after three years and even sometimes six years they say our policy remains the same. The technology has changed. The devices regulations are changing the fastest way globally. <coughs> it is a lot of changes are coming every week, every month. We have got another group here in India. A lot of global members are also there for MDQMS group, we call it. There are more than 500 team members. Out of them, 400 are purely manufacturers and laboratories. So we are all discussing it on a continual basis. Diamond forever. Policy is not forever. Objectives are not forever. And they need to be reviewed for continuing suitability. What had been documented in Singapore unit three years back may not be suitable today because regulations have changed. In Malaysia, the design of IV cannula have been revised twice in the last three years. So what I am doing today as a manufacturer Having the same policy displayed, documented, uh, mistaken. So this needs to be reviewed. Then what? What are the desired results? First and foremost is, if they are conceptually clear, that while manufacturing this blood bag or this contraceptive or this 
vaccine my team is trained on to the policy which i am going to utilize during the inspections or supplier handling or customer handling or regulatory board handling then i am good i can move on otherwise i am no good i am very bad maybe for the systems policy gives an assurance that yes mdqms management systems can achieve its intended results means as an organization i am getting improvement via internal audits via external audits and global requirements are met today what i am manufacturing here in my ludhiana punjab unit is being serviced by a hong kong dealer he is accepting it he is supplying it to the customers as per their requirement abc category the classifications are being met and there his appointment as a external or internal customer or dealer distributor is appropriately approved and it is following the regulations and the route of authorizations adequately policy should be auditable auditable means what if you can ask questions if it is written into a language which is 10 lines are written half a jerly 10th line should have been in 5th line 5th line should have been on 2nd line 2nd line should have been to 4th line this is not a matter of joke this is a fact and then we tell the organization that are you cracking jokes here we are not here to read your jokes because those policies become joke for themselves and for auditors where the sequence is not there where the order is not there where chronology is not adequate you know they are talking of history at times where the history should have been into the first line maybe or last line i do not know how they want to represent their organization globally but answers are coming clearly if language is correct if it is meaningful if it is logical logical is something which is very difficult to be spelled out when we are doing third party inspection for product certifications we we tell them logical and common sense are very logical and very commonly available as technical and engineers but they are not so most of the persons are not used to use their common sense like yesterday the result has come for our great rahul gandhi an ordinance which if he has accepted 10 years back logically and given due respect not by saying nonsense to it he should have done a sensible work and logical work and he should not have been thrown out of the sansad he should have still been a member of parliament but he i do not know what kind of sense he has he himself said i have become a member of parliament by default i am unfortunate to become a member i do not know why he says and all but i want to use logical language sensible language while we are documenting and while we are having questionable and answerable mdqms policy so that is the intent example maybe rahul gandhi or king george or queen victoria or anybody to make our concept clear like the prince was supposed to visit france he cannot visit because there is a movement of some policies going on in france so they, this is an example but what i mean to say the visitor policy to that country does not remain same throughout the life if there are protests the policy needs to be modified and revised and prince charles cannot visit france for next one month two month three month i do not know so all this is a live example of how things can be kept clear and how they can be made adequately for continuing suitability as on date not based upon what is happening into the history 10 years or 20 years back it also needs to meet the needs of the interested party interested parties are there so we are there it is interested parties who are making our survival adequate enough to live a long life everybody wants to have a long live long life when he is running an organization where he is manufacturing or marketing or providing services of mdqms devices or supporting activities or chemicals or whatsoever he is doing the instrumentation or calibration or servicing or whatever 
So it should meet those requirements. Meet the mission, vision, and direction of the top management. That is very important. If we are going little bit here and there from the direction of the top management, we will fail. We will not get supported by finances. We will not get the machines, equipment. We will not get the resources. So the mission, vision of the policy should be in the same direction as of top management. I went to have a glass of water. I had water and now I am back. So the communication with in the organization and all interested parties is equally important. This link I have taken from the last slide. But I again start from here the drafting. Drafting documentation and approval of MDQMS policy is very critical and very important. Not just write some 10 lines and start implementing it without having the proper documentation and approval support. Approval is be required because those who are approving it, they will read it, they will understand it, they will ask for modification and then only it will go for release for implementation. Provide training, overall training, overall training is very important. Displays are equally important. What is displayed remains in the mind, remains in the heart, remains on to the lips of the organizational teams. It can be done on website very well. We always appreciate so that all interested parties, regulatory board, customers can see it. If they see, then they view, then they review, and then they make suggestions and make it a live and adequate MDQS policy. There are various kinds of softwares available. You know, so not just use softwares and employ MDQS policy, make it suitable to your organizational requirements. I started from here, taking a link from the last slide, but yes, communication is the key to success. All right. Going to the action plan. These are very, very small things. It looks very simple to say. And many of the people attending to it sometimes say, sir, what is this? Planning has been done. This has been done. But these are all different entities. As we say, legal entities. So these are all requirements are all different entities in its own. You cannot stay, stand alone, define something and get the results. We are here to discuss how to get the best results out of this implementation. So implement the actions as per the plan. So that means planning is a necessary part of this activity. Without a good planning, the results will not be achieved and desired results will not be there. So first of all, we have to create a desire for the results. We have certain desires. Those desires are converting into drafting of the policy by top management, direction and guideline. Then middle management and the coordinated teams will develop a policy plan. Then what will happen? This planning will be done into different processes. There are hundreds of processes in an organization. A small process like, you know, loading and loading a medical device into QLA is a process. Lifting a medical instrument of 10 lakhs of values of 10,000 million amount of software and putting it back into the operation is a process. Writing down a work instruction is a process. So, planning of MDQS policy and monitoring into different Processes is, is an art, you know, it is an art to see that processes are amalgamated or gelled or getting fused with the effective policy plan. Then we do the analysis of the policy and implementation with respect to medical devices, manufacturing, servicing, processing, testing and so on. And then we do what? We would appreciate organization to have this policy chart of implementation. If the chart is available, then individuals, interested parties, suppliers, supply chain management, they all can implement this policy into the organization throughout the process of raw material from customer order to the customer complaint. Back 
tables we are implementing what we have discussed in last five slides we have discussed these five slides these five slides have been a part of the planning activities th thinking activity thought process has gone so far into five slides so now the sixth slide is there for the implementation of what all we have thought so far and then we are running the policy into various functions and always trying to enhance the effectiveness of mdqms policy implementation then we are updating the policy and objective chart policy and objectives planning chart go together hand to hand they are brothers they are sisters they may be cousin sisters they can be distant sisters sometimes it is a question of supply to supply order chain but yes they are having relations they may not have the same blood group but yes they supply the same kind of a fluid going into our veins of the organization so then we need to have correct and accurate and precise calculations this particular st standard as i said this is a sort of product certification also mixed with system certification qms so accurate calculation accurate readings accurate qa qc results are very much required a lot of data needs to be submitted to statutory and regulatory boards depending upon what frequent see they want but not later than a year in most of the cases you know so the board can ask for documents and data any time which we should be ready with that not that when your organization will go for conduct of uh, reviews when the board is going to come here the boards are just sitting on their head all the time every time 100% on on time as i say then we review the facts and figures with the involvement of all we would like to involve even the smallest creature in the organization into this interested party they can give us the best of the feedbacks and then what do we do we review the willingness of the team and the willingness of the entire study of the interested party regulatory boards and so on who are working on real time basis with us regular interval real time basis so that they are not preventing our growth and success if they do that we modify them we modify the individual third party the stake of millions of rupees is involved the stake of 10 countries is involved thousands of employees and supporting these things are involved we cannot make them kill by few who are going to prevent the growth and success better kill them out of the organization sometimes the hard decisions <clears throat> needs to be taken there is a horse and carrot policy you know sometimes we have to use the thunder the danda sometimes we have to show the carrot so it needs to be a mix of the management systems while we want to arrive the result for quality policy implementation so now implementation is also done <clears throat> what happens now analysis and future research i always believe in the study of policy chart in small groups cross functional team small groups the japanese way of working the gamba and so on are very very useful i myself have seen practically operators running down the business of the organization effectively to reduce the rejections and reverse why because they are made stronger there is a red button operator is authorized to press it and stop the process if the documents and data is not matching if results are not matching how do we get it we get it by way of getting the data by collecting data by spc sqc and other techniques and then we take it here we take it here we utilize the energy effectively if we spend thousand you know millions of energy units in producing 100 parts 
is that a good way of working we are paying bill of 10 million rupees and we are having a production of 90 million rupees at the end of the year so what do we do we use independent trained and deemed competent internal auditors and second party auditors to see that these things are under our control and our requirements of ISO management systems are being moving positively to get the desired results. Desired results is key to the entire process. Sometimes we take the customer satisfaction percentage. Some company we go in the month of February 2023, their customer satisfaction index is 91%. Similar kind of product being manufactured in similar district, adjacent unit has got 91%. Same kind of units in another district of same country is having 95%. So these are all relative terms. These are all depending upon the capability, capacity, their honesty and their honest plans for the implementation of ISO management system in the standards MDQMS. Sometimes organization try to fool themselves. Sometimes the top management is fooling the entire organization and screwing the entire share markets and making the entire country and the world economy get into things, which is being done today by maybe by Russia and the Ukraine or China or US or Iran or Israel. I do not know. They are all entities who are responsible for functioning of ISO management systems in their own country by using extremists, by using bombardment or whatever they are doing to spoil their own country and their own organization. If you are making it an attempt to kill ISO management system standard, do you think you can survive? You think you will not be caught in management room meetings? So after conducting all this, you are going to conduct a management room meeting, not with the aim to catch all this. Yes, catching is also not bad. You take a catch in cricket, so you can successfully win the match. So you catch the actions of the entire management team into management room meeting with an aim to find out what weakness, how weakness, and how they can be improved upon further. Improve upon further is by way of implementing and monitoring of further actions and future plan. We see very stupid, very silly, very, you know, funny management room meeting records into organization which are far, far away from realities. The moment we open the first and second page of the management room meeting, we can see it very clearly that it is all a curtain. A curtain which can be blown with just one like this, the whole curtain is broken into pieces. The whole net is broken into pieces of networks. And we understand that this management room meeting is not no good for the organization. They are just fooling themselves. They cannot fool us because we have adequate experience of not being fooled. We might have been fooled as a junior auditor maybe 30 years back, but now we have enough experience in our team of the auditors which are made of two auditors and one expert you cannot fool us we catch you and we try to do what we try to show directions to the organization by way of raising non-conformities and observations which are only meant to show the direction for improvement those who get it those who catch it those who are moving around us, 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 is for their improvements and they improve upon. And those who try to run away from auditors, they cannot improve anything. So we conduct a lot of trainings in TNV certification private limited, which are approved by Action Bell Global. We conduct almost 80 courses, including 13485 uh, lead auditor course. Every month we qualify 15 to 20 uh, candidates in every state of India. So this is very much going on well. Also, we are approved for 1705, which is the 
accredited alter course we do that also also we do certifications of md qmr by tnv certification private limited under uf accreditation along with if so we do all this and the seminar i am conducting on behalf of tnv academy is a theme learning without limits so this is all i thought i had to discuss today with respect to md qms so if you have any questions you are most welcome thank you if the team have any questions they can please ask on the topic which has been uh, discussed today or if in case you do not have any questions as of now so as all our webinars go on to uh, our youtube channel uh, our live youtube channel this particular webinar will also be uploaded soon on the channel and in case you have any questions after uh, going through the webinar once again you can uh, please put your questions in the comment section of the video and we will be forwarding those questions to mr rajay bachpai for for their uh, respective answers we can now come to the conclusion of this particular session i would say that uh, uh, we have been blessed by the knowledge which has been shared by mr rajay bachpai on 13485 uh, policy which is uh, medical devices quality management system and it, which is a, a standard in which you know uh, 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 many of the organizations are not aware about about the complications involved in this particular standard so the knowledge which was shared by mr rajay bajpai was absolutely vast and and uh, fruitful for all of us i thank him for for uh, sharing his knowledge on this particular topic and taking out time from his busy, busy schedule to conduct uh, for the smooth conduct of this webinar i thank all the participants as well for their beautiful time which they have shared on on being joining in this particular webinar thank you for your support uh, see you soon with an exciting new topic till then it's best wishes from tnv academy